something happened. There's no denying that something happened. Even the most cynical skeptic can't deny that something happened. These guys, these men and women, were just cowering in fear for their lives. They were hiding behind locked doors, afraid to come out, and afraid to let anyone come in. They feared for their very lives. And then something happened. Something happened, and they burst out into the world and picked right up where Jesus left off. They went out and they fed the hungry and they healed the sick. They forgave sins and in their actions and in their words, they proclaimed the gospel to the world. Even in facing near certain death by doing so. Something happened to stir them from that room, that locked room of fear, and to go out into the world and just explode with all that loving joy. And this isn't just, this isn't just religion. This isn't just legend. This is a turning point in human history. And we stand here today 2,000 years later, because something happened. And they found an openness to receive the Holy Spirit and be inspired to crash through those walls of fear and bring love and joy to the world. They, they believed in God. They believed in God with all their hearts. But still, that wasn't enough to get them out of that room. And they loved Jesus. They loved Jesus as much as anyone has ever loved Jesus. And even that wasn't enough to get them out of that room. Something more was needed something more to make their faith complete, not just God the Father and Christ the Son, but also the infusion of the Holy Spirit in their hearts and their lives. <clears throat> now, a week ago, we had our first Streetlights Outreach block party of the season. It was out in Seymour Park. So we had the neighbors in, and we had a very talented musician. We always have a, a band or a vocalist or someone there. We had a very talented musician there. And I was sitting at a, um, at a picnic table with a small group of people from the neighborhood. And, uh, and one of the guys remarked that that guy's really good. He is. That how, give how blessed we are that he's sharing his giftedness with us. And then this, this young woman, I'm going to say maybe 13, her name was Alicia, sitting at the table, hadn't said a word, very quiet, very, very quiet, shy, introverted. She semi-whispered, you should get me up there. She didn't think anyone heard her, but I did. <laughs> so I, I, I said, yes, we should. Let's get you up there. No, 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 she said. I said, no, come on up. Come on up and share your giftedness. And she said, I've never sung in front of people. I can't do it. And I said, well, you, you could. 
and you should, and maybe today is the day we break through that wall. And she said, no. <laughs> so I took my leave from that group. I, I said, you have one job here, and that's to convince Alicia to share herself with the rest of us and to go up and sing. It wasn't 15 minutes later, I was talking to some other folks, and I heard a new voice. And I turned, and there was this young woman standing at the microphone in public in front of all of these people, belting out a Frank Sinatra tune. And she knew all the words. And she was singing. I mean, Frank Sinatra is from a different era, a different ethnicity, a completely different background. And she was speaking and singing in his tongue, his words, crossing barriers, not just breaking down the barriers of her fear and anxiety, but crashing through the barriers that separate races and generations. This young woman somehow infused with the breath of the Holy Spirit to break out of herself. And that's the gift of Pentecost, the gift that's brought to all of us, the gift to break out of that fear and anxiety that keeps us small and holds us back and invites us to break out into the fear, or out beyond the fear, into the world. To love as Christ loved, wholly, completely, sharing our giftedness, and also the voice that allows Christ to breathe those words through us to one another, to encourage each other, to break through their barrier, to realize it's safe. We love you, come on out, break through whatever is holding you back, share the fullness of yourself and all of the gifts you have with the rest of the world so that we might all, as one body, rise up in that great joy. And may the inspiring fires of the Holy Spirit rain down upon you. May the inspiring fires of the Holy Spirit stir the heart within you. And may the inspiring fires of the Holy Spirit flow forth from you. Peace be with you.